Hello, you beautiful marketing gurus. Today, we're going to check out the welcome automation. So let's get right into it. So as you can see on my screen, we have a bunch of pre-built automation workflows that are categorized by type, call, channel. There's a million different ones, but for this video, we're going to focus on welcome workflow specifically. There's a million different ones of the... It's not funny. <laughs> So as you can see here, we already have those in the recommended tab and we have two different ones and what's different about them. So the first one is only one email and the second one is one email and one SMS. So if we want to understand the welcome workflow, we're going to jump into the email and SMS combination here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me explain what you're seeing here on the screen. So these are the enter and exit conditions. So the enter condition is subscribers enter the workflow when they sign up via the OmniSend form and they exit this workflow when they place an order. So this is the baseline that we have here and what happens in between those two steps is right over here down below. So let's say the customer signs up via the OmniSend form and we wait for one minute and then we send the welcome email. Here's the first one. We can actually check out the content and edit it as we like. Here we go, welcome aboard, we're stoked to see you. 10% off, redeem your discount. Very nice. Okay, let's just keep it as is and let's see what's right below it. So we wait for one day and we send another one. Now do know, if the customer sees this welcome email and then uses the discount to place an order, that's it. The, he's gone from the workflow, he's not gonna see this SMS message. If he doesn't, he will. Wait for one day, send an SMS message. This is an SMS message and you can also adjust it to fit your liking. We understand our customer and we know that if he doesn't see the email, he's not going to use the discount. We assume that he didn't really see the email and didn't place an order. So instead, we're going to use the phone, the thing that we have on person pretty much all the time. So let me, let me show you how we're gonna do it. We create a split and in that split, we're going to make a condition. Message behavior, opened email, and we select this email. So this is the split condition. If he did open it, that's it. He's gone from the workflow. But instead, if he does not, we just move it over here. So let's see the logic behind this now. Welcome email, wait one day, split if he opened the email. And if he did not, we send a follow-up. But additionally, we can also change the time because let's assume the customer signed up through your e-commerce website. So let's assume he's still there. So let's give it five more minutes and send the SMS so he could make the purchase right there and now. And this is it. This is the workflow we have created and you can create yourself as well. So as you can see, the adjustments I have made were not like marketing guru, you don't need a PhD to understand this. You just click on the blocks from the left side and just drag it onto the workflow and you can adjust it to fit your liking. It's very simple, very easy, and everyone can do it. Now, after you enable this workflow, you can see the stat statistics of each and every step that you've made here. You can see the completions over here. You can see the sent, opened, clicked percentages, and even sales for each and every step. And that was the welcome workflow. So as you can see here, you, it is the recommended step to take and you can freely browse all the other steps and do them yourself. As you can see, there's also an abandoned card, very essential one. And if you don't know how to use this, you can click right over here in the annotation or check out the link in the description below. See you next day, marketers.